Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing all about your true purpose here on earth. Why have you come to this planet? Why have you reincarnated into this human body? So we have group number one with the clear quartz, group two with the crackle quartz, group three with the clear quartz heart, and group four with the apophyllite. So please choose your group now. If you would like any extra time, please pause the video and all the timestamps will be down in the description box and in the comments section. So let's get started. I'm also going to be seeing about empaths from star seeds in this video as well. I've been really drawn to that kind of spirit just told me that maybe there's something there about that as well. So if that's something that interests you, carry on watching. Please choose your group and let's get started so starting off with group number one hello group number one so we've got a lovely nice lump of cards here and we're going to look into some tarot as well so you had the beautiful clear quartz this is a twin uh formation twin formation it's got uh two crystals on there so it kind of amplifies the energy of clear quartz so it's really lovely in its natural form well my ear is getting really really hot on like my right ear so I don't know if that's a um, sign for anyone okay so we have Bhakti, we have Rhodochrosite, my hands are really shaky, children, time to decide and options and then we also have the cheetah. Okay so let's have a look and see what these cards represent for you. For you guys I feel like your purpose at the moment right at watching this video is trying to find your sense of worth. So you guys are the ones that are very, very sensitive. You have a very sensitive nature. And I do feel as if you guys can kind of put pressure on yourself to be this perfect person all the time, like having to have a sense of like being this perfect identity and you can't have flaws, which is totally not true. We are human beings. We all have flaws. We all have, and we all are perfect in the same way. You know, when we're out in nature, when we're connected to nature there is no sense of like I have to do my job you know I have to earn money all of that stuff is just manipulated into today's society and without all of that you just are you are a beautiful human being so I feel like at the moment you guys are trying to decide the right path for you and Bhakti is representing of devotion it says you have begun walking on the path of devotion Bhakti yoga you are devoted to something greater than yourself your body your possessions or your desires their, dedica their dedication is to the divine. Now it's time to ask yourself, what does divinity mean to me? When do I feel close to the divine? So this is also saying that if you guys are kind of really stressed out about trust in the universe right now, this is saying that when you lose touch with the divine, life becomes meaningless, uh, our days lose color and our world feels tasteless. So I'm not gonna read any more of that because I do feel like it can be quite intense and serious, some of these card meanings. Um, how I see this is I feel as if I, in a sense, my own core beliefs, I don't feel like it's a devotion of, I'm gonna surrender my entire being to this thing. When I feel think of devotion, I think of working in tandem, working in cooperation with the universe or with God or whoever you kind of devote yourself to. So I feel like there's a sense of community. I feel like coming together with your sense of purpose is really important for you. With the options card, I feel like you guys have so many different options. Um, that you can kind of go towards. And with the road of Christ, like, it's definitely remembering your worth. You are, I'm hearing a child of God and I'm, I'm not really somebody who connects with God too much. I'm more of a universal gal, but obviously that's totally fine if you're very connected to God, you know, that's, you, that's your beliefs. I just feel like I'm, I'm just hearing like you're really, very connected to God. So I do feel like there's a sense of walking this really amazing path of like, you will be guided, okay? So for your energy, for your life purpose, like why you came here to, to earth is to trust in your own innate being, like trusting yourself, trust what you have here because there isn't really like a strong sense of like, okay, you guys are spiritual teachers or you're spiritual leaders or you guys are meant to be nurses or you're meant to be, you know, accountants, you know? I feel like this feels as if you are deciding what it is you want to do. And I think that's what you can struggle with is finding your sense of purpose. And then you get stressed out because you feel like you're not, I'm hearing not making it on time. You feel like you're rushing yourself. Like you have to rush yourself to get to where you're meant to be. And the whole, the whole of your life is actually finding your sense of purpose. 
and your sense of purpose doesn't have to be in a thing. It could literally be your family. It could be your children. It could be with children. You could be working with children or it could be when you find your inner, your connection to your inner child, it really enables you to find what it is you want to do. I feel like in this group, I don't feel like there's a certain actual purpose i feel like it's more about you finding it for yourself and obviously this reading is to help you find your purpose so i am going to pull a couple more cards and i do have some tarot as well i just feel like it's about when you find your sense of worth it's all about what's inside of you that matters and i do feel like the cheater is some of you guys feel like you need to rush your sense of purpose you need to rush it to get to where you need to go you need to kind of be this full-on energy that all the time constantly keep going always helping other people but remember you need to make space for yourself remember you're important too so i do feel like that it's really important for you to slow down and as much as you guys probably don't want to slow down it's really important for you too because i do feel like sometimes you can base too much of your life in the past and thinking oh it didn't work out so it's never going to work out i think it's just trusting the universe and trusting that there is you will be looked after and I feel like not to base it too much on what you're physically attaining like money or friends or anything like that when you find the right thing for you it will naturally occur for you I feel like you guys are very strong manifestors you guys are really imaginative so I do feel like when you find that sense of self it will be through it will be coming through yourself and then you'll find your life purpose it's all about kind of learning and integrating yourself through your journey it's not like boom I'm, i know i'm here to be a writer it's i feel like you guys have so many different options and i don't feel like there's one like straight line which is maybe why you guys are feeling very confused but at the moment it's like remembering your sense of self and finding your sense of self and road across like it's all about finding who you are it's connecting to your heart chakra it's kind of like tuning into your heart and thinking, okay, what is right for me right now? Okay, so we also have the card of Aquamarine, which is connected to the throat chakra. Here we go. When it says, when you find yourself stuck in the past or too focused on the future. Oh, sorry, this is Hiddenite. Hiddenite is down to make the most of every moment. If you're in a rut, call on Hiddenite to help you love your way out of it, which is exactly what I feel like you guys are going through. You'll get definitely <clears throat> going through a transition phase. I do feel like you guys are going through like major transitions outwardly as well. So you may be having children. You may um, you may have literally like, given birth a few days ago. You may have uh, suddenly had a, a child in the family, like a cousin or uh, a niece or nephew. Um, you may be moving house. You may have lost your job. This is what I'm feeling. Is like a really strong sense of purpose for you your sense of purpose why you came on here here to uh, to earth is to discover your purpose and you may actually be somebody to help other people find theirs because you found a sense of okay how am i going to do this and then you then you figure it out and then you help other people find theirs that's kind of what i feel like is part of your life purpose okay so I feel like you guys are having to be very strong at the moment. Um, I feel like you're cultivate, cultivating this strong need to find who you are. Um, definitely at the moment, especially as we're going to this Aquarian age, it's definitely about like the self and being in, independent. And I feel like for some of you guys, you may have had a past life where you were basically told what to do and where to go and it didn't suit you, but you kind of had to kind of go with it. And your sense of purpose may actually come through connections. It may actually come through when you find a partner. It brings in this whole sense of security. I'm not saying that you have to have a partner to feel secure. That's definitely not what I'm saying. It's definitely about how you relate to others, like connecting to others and, and feeling... I, I don't, I'm getting like a really strong Virgo Gemini from this group. It's kind of like I don't know how to relate to myself. And it's maybe because you were kind of putting pressure on yourself to be this certain person that you're not actually focusing on who you actually are. It may be like, oh, my parents want me to be a doctor or, you know... My my family wants me to be this certain way. It's just like, but who do you want to be? Who do you want to be? And I think that's definitely what your purpose is, is actually trying out different things and then helping others to find their purpose because through your experiences, you're helping others. And sometimes that can be a bit of a pain because you're the one kind of doing the work, but it doesn't mean that you're not going to get this gorgeous sense of purpose out of helping others. And we do have this romantic energy here as well. So when you kind of find your purpose through, through your strength and through starting new things, is I think you're gonna find a really lovely connection that makes you feel like 
wow, this feels really lovely. And bo both of you coming together will make this like lovely light, whether it be a child, whether it be a business, whether it be um, both of you have the same lifestyle and it really, really, really emphasizes it. So say if you're somebody who really wants to live off the grid um, and that's like a really strong purpose for you, you may find somebody who wants to do that as well. It doesn't have to be romantic. It can be like a, a friend. It can be even a family member if you're that close to them. It feels like something where it's just like a soul, soul connection. You know, it's not like, oh, I, I romantically love you. It could be like, you, we feel like a soul family. You know, it feels really lovely. And when you find that purpose through the confusion, then you'll be then that's that is literally your purpose is finding your purpose but it's not to say that you're never going to find it it's just when you do find it it might as I say it might be that your sense of purpose is helping other people find theirs so it's kind of like you may want to be like a public speaker or something like that that may be helping others to find their purpose you know something like that it feels like you're a leader in some way and you're like the experimenter you're the one who is very open to try new things so that's why I feel like because you're so open to try new things, that's actually what's gonna bring you your purpose because there's this new sense of like exploration and not everyone wants to be the leader, not everyone wants to try new things. So because you're somebody who's up for that, it kind of reminds me of the Try Guides. I don't know if any of you guys know who that uh, YouTube channel is, but they literally try everything and they're really up for pretty much anything. And as guys, they kind of have to let the walls down even more because in the society, men are deemed as like non-emotional or not allowed to be emotional or not allowed to be, you know, feminine. And they totally like take that on board and they totally just use that to their advantage. They're like, you know what, I don't care how silly I look. I just want to do this for myself. And that's exactly what you guys are doing. It's just like, you're fearless. I feel like you're completely fearless, which is lovely. And I think as well is when you have much more gratitude for the life you have now, you're gonna actually cultivate much more quicker. It's like you guys are really super strong manifestors definitely got a lot of Gemini in your chart I feel really really strongly if not Gemini Libra or Aquarius okay so we have square resistance struggle obstacles waning crescent surrender restore and then we have Juno so yeah exactly like we had that romance card you guys ha are going to have a little bit of struggle but when you end that karmic cycle you will find this union whether it be you and your purpose you and a best friend it feels like another person though so it doesn't actually have to be like oh my life is leading up to meeting somebody else it means that when you find yourself somebody else will find themselves and then you come together to noble gases because noble gases they are basically they work on their own and then they come together and make you know one large noble gas but they never change themselves for that partnership or that connection i hope this is making sense because i feel like for you guys your life purpose is much more of a mental thing it's not really like a as i say not like a job it feels more like it feels like a mental state it feels like the more you man you figure out how to manifest your ideal lifestyle that is what it is and i do feel like you could be somebody who helps other people manifest um, it feels like that's kind of your energy, like your soul triggers people to manifest things. You may be like, okay, why do I have to be the one to do that work? But girl, that might just be your purpose, you know? And I do feel like through your struggles, you're going to help others. It doesn't mean you're going to struggle though. When you actually release this karma, there is definitely something waiting on the other side. And it feels like a union of like, I feel my whole entire self. So I hope this is making sense. Um, and I do, I'm picking up on like flowers for you guys as well. Like flowers bring a lot of joy to you. Um, you may have flowers around your house. Um, nature may just be something you're very connected to. It might be that you want to be somebody who works with flowers, a florist, um, like maybe making beauty products, maybe even making like potpourri or natural uh, beauty products or this, what's the other thing that I was thinking of? Like batch flower remedies. Um, something like herbal it could be even chinese medicine so i hope that resonates with you guys thank you so much for being here if you'd like a private reading we want to check out my crystal store all the information is down below i hope you have a lovely day and i'll speak to you very soon much love bye hello group number two thank you so much for being here let's get started with your reading so you guys chose the beautiful crackle quartz that is stunning. I love these types of crystals, kind of obsessed with them at the moment. So I feel like for you guys, you are very much in kind of like a mental block. That's kind of what I'm picking up on. A really strong mental block around your purpose or kind of your like mental state. You may have been going for a lot of anxiety or depression recently. And just to let you know, this will change. This will shift. Um, just keep going and don't ever stop moving. Like keep moving your body. Um, keep devoting yourself to you never neglect yourself you know do, do just you're doing your best and that is enough okay i just feel like that's a really strong message for you okay so we have tamas this beautiful uh sleeping animal here it's lovely i think that's a 
Is that like some sort of some sort of tiger? I don't think that's a, not a snow a snow tiger. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> okay, we then have blue lace agate. Find your calm. Exactly. Yeah, I feel like it's definitely calming energy. As we can see, like the really calming colors here. They really they're actually matching up so nicely. I love that. Okay, we then have trust. Author. Move those cards over again. We then have sensitivity. The octopus, and we also have the zebra. So it's interesting how we have these stripes going on of the tiger, and then we have the zebra. So you guys maybe fix signs where you kind of see things in black and white, and it can be hard for you to kind of see um, the grayscale of things sometimes. Maybe you kind of have a really strong sense of something, and it's really hard to kind of you know avoid, like not avoid it, but like not to trust that sense of knowing. So you guys are very intuitive. You guys are really connected to crystals. And I do feel like at the moment, it's really, it's really ideal for you to find your sense of calm. That's gonna help you find your purpose. So I also feel like because you guys are very, very sensitive, you guys will pick up on other people's energies really easily. So it's really, really important for you guys to focus on your sense of calm because when you when you are calm it really allows you to trust much easier and your life purpose is to help other people feel calm so it might be through your through books through meditations that you create possibly on this earth i do feel as if whatever you bring to this earth it calms people and it could even be your natural state of being that you're just a very very calm person and it allows you to kind of bring this sense of calm to other people because you are naturally very, very empathic and to help people feel calm, just it, I feel like it's a very, very strong like sense of life purpose for you. Like it feels really lovely in your heart. Like it, I'm getting this warm orange kind of red energy around my heart. It feels like, oh yeah, this feels really good, you know? And I feel like you may want to do things that are very calming in your life. And I feel like also you guys might get stressed out quite easily because of being so sensitive. So it's really important for you to keep finding your calm constant on a constant basis. That's really, really important because it can knock you off your perch. It can knock you off of finding, of being in your purpose, you know? And obviously our purposes can change, you know? and our purpose doesn't actually have to be something physical. Like it doesn't have to be a career, a job, anything like that. It can literally be, you help others find trust in the universe. It may be that you, when you find, when you trust yourself, you find your life purpose and what you're here to do. With the Tamas card, it says, you are in a period of hibernation, which is sometimes needed to blossom into a butterfly. Your body is between lines of a poem, notes of a song, steps of a dance. Use this time to fully rejuvenate your system, allow proper rest and food. Knowing it is time to emerge from your cocoon and show the world the gifts you have been cultivating. Stillness is only balanced when followed by action. Density, dullness and inertia. So for you guys, your purpose right now is to be in the moment, is to rest. And obviously it depends on where you are at this time. You may have already been in a period of rest or it may be coming up soon for you to have a period of rest. Your life purpose is definitely being cultivated on many different levels. Our life purpose isn't always just one thing. So what I feel like you're here on this earth to do is to really trust the universe and work with it and to help you manifest that. You guys have a really strong sensitivity and you may have to make quite a lot of changes in your life to make sure that you are balanced. So this could be meditation, eating the right food, um, taking in a lot of fresh air, you know, all the things that we literally need to do anyway. Um, obviously, when, when we were in tribes, it was much easier to do those things, but definitely we have to be more kind of aware of it at the moment. So with the octopus and the zebra, you can see that there's this black and white energy with both of them, but they both have this really strong, beautiful rainbow captivating energy. You guys have a really captivating energy. A lot of people really love you for your ideas. They love you for... Um, the kind of intuitive downloads that you guys may have. You may be very intuitive, very spiritual. Um, and the octopus is saying to not overdo it for other people. You're somebody who is very empathic. You genuinely love to help people, but make sure you're not overdoing it, especially if you're a mother or a carer. I feel like it's really important for you to focus on you and give yourself space. Even if it's just 10 minutes in the car while you're driving, 
just to make sure you're being very, very present because if you're constantly burning out, your sensitivity is gonna really pick up on that. And with the zebra, you guys are very naturally intuitive. The zebra talks about intuition and allowing yourself to kind of be in that space of um, the present moment. So with the octopus, I do feel like you're going to have lots of different life purposes. I do feel like you're going to have a lot of different things you're going to do in this lifetime because you're really talented. And I feel like, especially with the author, you may be somebody who loves writing. You may really enjoy researching and learning new things. And I do feel like your life purpose is definitely not stuck to one thing. And you may be somebody who's very into mediumship or crystals or anything like that. That may be something that kind of wants to come up later on in life. It may not be something that comes in now. Um, I also do feel like with the Blue Ace Agate, speaking your truth is super important because it allows you to express your feelings authentic authentically. And Blue Ace Agate is a really lovely crystal for the throat chakra. So the next crystal card we have here is Tibetan Black Quartz. When you're chasing enlightenment on the meditation cushion or when you're pulling tarot cards, light up your spiritual path. So that's definitely what I'm feeling is like really connecting to spiritual to spirit really gets into the universe and kind of slowing down and trusting that whatever you're going through right now whether it be in a state of flux or whether it be you found your complete purpose I do feel like right now it's important for you to keep researching keep trying new things because there may be something else that's going to help you as well especially if you have your own business I do see there's like a new part of you that wants to come in and I do feel like this is coming in because you are cultivating this new sense of self beautiful so for you guys um communion and soul tribes are really important for you in this lifetime you're somebody who's very compassionate you really care about other people it just comes like a really natural thing to you so for you guys it's really important for you to be with other people for your life purpose to blossom at its kind of peak um, I feel like you're somebody who's going to help others guide through uncomfortable situations. You maybe want to be a counsellor, you may want to be a therapist, um, a Reiki healer, something like that. But I feel like you could easily do a business that's very creative. So you could even do like Reiki with drumming or Reiki with singing, something like that. It's kind of like you're an inventor. You could be somebody who wants to do something very creative, like an artist or something where you can really like download your messages through yourself to help other people so it could literally be even like um, a medium it could be channeling intergalactic aliens it could be anything like that it just feels like you also help people transmute transmute into having new starts so it could be you help others to clear their house from from other spirits and things like that or it could be that you want to be helping people when they move house there's just something to do with like transitioning into something new. And it may be that you're wanting to start a new business for yourself as well. But there's this sense of like, I'm not sure if I should trust myself with this. So I do feel like you, we all have a natural sense of intuition. I do feel like you guys are very, very connected to it. You, your intuition is saying like, trust yourself because you know exactly what you need to do at this point in time and also in the future for your purpose. You're here on this earth to trust yourself like we all are here. But also it's like you definitely have a lot of ideas in you and trust those ideas because you may think oh you know nobody's ever done that before but actually if nobody's ever done it before they everyone who has a, who has had an idea has expressed it and started it but you, you can't do anything unless you start it you know you can't tell a basically like an experience until you start it until you get it out there so for you guys it's facing your fears around starting something new and being expressive and also it may be being seen you guys may not like to be seen a lot of the time it may be that you've had insecurities about that and I do feel like you're very in independent or you're somebody who has very independent ideas that other people haven't thought of that is your superpower that is definitely your superpower for your for you guys here on this earth and I do feel like you have a very high sense of value like I feel like you really value other connections and you never judge people based on what they look like where they come from you're you're somebody who's cultivated or is going to cultivate a lot of um, different types of people in your community so I do feel like yeah you're very non-judgmental especially with that Pisces energy Pisces are very non-judgmental signs and um, they're very empathic and they're also very I'm hearing secretive they have a secret side which is something that I'm just channeling right now um, I definitely feel like you're going to help a lot of people go through things where they felt lost. That is kind of your your life purpose. And I do feel as if you guys, yeah, you definitely have a really strong sense of innovation and invention. 
and you always have ideas that other people haven't kind of thought of yet. You're somebody who's the ideas man, you're the creative person, you are somebody who is constantly learning, you possibly read a lot, you possibly watch a lot of YouTube videos, you're constantly researching new things and especially with this retrograde it really helps you to kind of look back on the past to what has worked and what hasn't and you're constantly looking into things and being quite logical about them so you could be you could have quite a strong Aquarius in your chart Pisces Aries Sag um, Leo as well I'm just hearing Neptune really strongly too which we have here so this also says this is in the house of intu intuition and the unconscious. So with the 12th house, this is also to do with healing, spirituality, karma, subconscious. So you guys may even be like, want to be a hypnosis, hip hypnotist you may want to be a hypnotist um, you're somebody who has a lot of skills and you have a lot of empathy for other people definitely use that in this life because you can understand people at levels that they may not even be able to understand themselves and you can see things from further away so when people are possibly having anxiety or things like that you can look at this situation and think okay how can I help this person because when people are in their own little energy it can be really hard for them to see outward so for you guys you help people find their destiny and I feel like some of you guys you may not have even found what your life purpose is yet and as I say your life purpose can literally change from one minute to the next and also your life purpose doesn't have to be a career it can literally be a sense of being it could be your personality what you give to the earth you know you you are you for a reason you know you are you to give to this earth in many different ways because if we're all the same we won't be able to fully cultivate and have difference you know we won't be able to have contrast so for you guys you are some of you guys are still trying to find out what is your actual like life purpose job kind of thing like your career you know because your life purpose doesn't have to be a career but I do feel like you are still trying to find that for some of you guys but a lot of you guys really have strong Pisces in your chart use that to your ability you guys get very strong downloads and you're also very connected to intergalactic alien star seeds um you may be somebody who is um like yeah like a star seed uh, you may collect you may very strongly connect to palladians something like that it feels like a really strong connection to other realms you may be very into star trek star wars um, documentaries about aliens and pyramids and things something like that use that to your ability that's going to really help the earth to ascend as well so thank you so much for watching guys if you would like a private reading all my information is down below thank you very much for being here hope you have a lovely day and i'll speak to you very soon bye hello group number three let's get started with your reading so you guys chose the clear quartz heart really really beautiful energy love that so let's have a look at your cards so you guys have Pavati, you have Strength, Crystals, let's move that over there a bit. You have Energy Healing, Labradorite, and we also have the Mouse. Okay, so for you guys, in the book here for this Oracle, gar Oracle card, Pavati, Goddess of Devotion, Love and Yoga. So it says, Pavati represents commitment to practice, unbreakable willpower, and power of self-transformation. Continue your journey towards enlightenment. So I do feel like for you guys, you guys have gone through quite an intense life, or you've had quite a lot of intensities in your life that have been like very, very concentrated. So you haven't just had one thing and it's like, oh, the rest of your life has been a lot more easier. It's like transformation after transformation after transformation. It's just like lots of transformation. So for you guys, you guys are the healers of this earth. You guys have so much strength in you. I need to burp. Excuse me, I hope you didn't hear that. You guys have a lot of strength within you because you are meant to basically transmute a lot of energy. And I do feel like it's really important for you guys to understand that a lot of the stuff you, you are going through is meant to happen so you can get to this very, very strong sense of self. So from an early age, I feel like you guys felt very, very small. You felt like you couldn't really speak up for yourself. You felt like you couldn't really stand within your power. You felt like you were quite powerless. So with the mouse energy, this is a really strong time for you to step into your power, to step forward. Mice are very small, but like it's, I'm hearing like don't underestimate their, their size. So because mice are very small, they can fit into so many different gaps and they can basically eat anything and still survive that is basically the strength of the mouse they are an animal of complete and utter like strength and commitment and they're constantly making little nests and stuff so it's like constant like concentration that's what I feel like you guys have you guys 
are really, really strong. Everything you've experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous. And for what, for what you are here to do is to see the magic in your own magic. Because the more you see the magic in the world, the more everything's going to enhance around it. So you guys could be working with crystals. Um, you could be working as an energy healer, but that could just be part of your life purpose. You know, those things are jobs as well. So your job doesn't have to be your life purpose. Your life purpose could be your sense of self. It could be who, finding who you are. It could be literally being just this intuitive guide helping others. But obviously in the material world right now, we do need to earn money. So it could be part of your career. And also remember your, your life your life purpose can constantly change. It doesn't have to be one thing. So for you guys, you could feel like you're in two minds. A lot of the time you could feel like you, what your part of your body wants to go one way, but your mind wants to go another way. And I feel like for your life purpose, it's actually really syncing yourself up to your body and listening and slowing down to your body listening to what your body needs because your body is a compass. It's there to help you, guide you. And because you guys aren't maybe an energy healer, you are very, very sensitive. Your body is sensitive. So it may be that you have to slow down and really focus on what it is that you need to reintegrate really at that moment. And I do feel like for you guys, because you have this very strong intuition, you can see things that other people can't. So you may be somebody who helps others see their potential. And Labradorite is a very, very psychic crystal. I see it as more of like an intergalactic, but quite grounding crystal. It's kind of like you have your own piece of kind of like alien technology. That's kind of what I see Labradorite as. So seeing things um, on a high vibration, I feel like you guys have a very spiritual sense of seeing things. So like the things going on around the world, I don't feel like a lot of you guys are very phased by it. I feel like you guys can see things in a very spiritual sense. And I do feel like people are attracted to your light. So you have to be careful who you can, who you bring into this, into your energy. You have a very, very light empathic vib vibration and people are very, very attracted to that. They see your light. So it's really important for you guys to protect your energy, protect your light and protect your sense of self is what I'm feeling. And I do feel like some of you guys have protected yourself too much where you have put on this armor and you can't be yourself because maybe you've been hurt so much that you feel like you can't be yourself. And this is telling you that there is so much power in being a sensitive person. There's so much power in being so connected to um, higher vibrations like that's a superpower right there and really acknowledging that and knowing that you're different you know you're not like everyone else everyone is different we all have a different purpose here on earth otherwise we would all be the same you know and life would be pretty pretty boring you know so let's have a look and see what other cards you have oh my god <laughs> we have labradorite again so this says when to use it when you've lost your faith in magic oh my god that's so funny this card literally says, see the magic. These are two different decks by two different people, I'm pretty sure. That is crazy. When you've lost your faith in magic, the world is a weird, wonderful, whims whimsical, watery rock hurtling through space and you're on it. And that makes you freaking special. I added the freaking part. Gaze into Labradorite and delight in that. Protect your magic. Who needs it? Adventurers exploring far off lands, places, alchemical, spiritual, artistic and dreamy, any Pisces really really lovely i love that for tarot cards we have the four of swords death card and ten of swords i heard just have faith in yourself have faith in yourself like you are here to change people to change the way people think about this world to bring bring people into the aquarian age and i'm sorry if you're seeing a little fly he's called bob he likes to fly around honestly i thought they were from my plant but guys like i thought i got rid of these little bugs but they're still around so you know they're obviously there for a little reason hopefully they're not cultivating and making little babies in my house hopefully not okay so we then have meditation meditation is where you guys are going to get most of your ideas from um because you are very naturally connected to source i mean we all are but because you guys are really actually just naturally intuitive um it comes extremely natural to you you don't really have to fully like try or investigate you just it just is there so for you guys, that is your superpower right there. We also have mercy. And this is basically saying to not take anyone's crap. That's just what I'm hearing just bluntly. Like don't take anyone's crap. I feel like you guys are very, very sensitive to the way the world works. You don't feel like you fit in. And this because you're not meant to, you're not, you're meant to make a new world. So for you guys, you are the leaders. You guys think very differently and you guys have gone through so many different death processes. It's actually insane, but it's because you are shedding so much of the trauma 
and the um, survival strategies that you used when you were younger, you're really, you're really shedding all of those and you help others to shed them and you help others to see their light. And it may be you're a Scorpio, you may be somebody who really helps people to transform and transcend. And I do feel as if you really pick up on people's vibrations. So it's really, really important for you to separate yourself if you feel any threat or if you feel any kind of underlying, like the underlying like nature. I don't know what the word is right now. Um, what's the word? Please give me the word. They're not telling me. Kind of underlying... Um, yeah, like, it, okay, Mercury retrograde is really confusing my brain. But basically, just be careful of people. I'm, be, I'm hearing be careful of freaks. I don't know why the word freak is coming out. They're saying freaks as in, like, um, people's energy. If they haven't worked on themselves, um, the energy can be very, very um, up and down. And you don't need that in your life, basically, is what I'm saying. Cut people off as soon as they start to be freaky. <laughs> I don't know why they're giving me that word. I'm sorry, for lack of a better word, guys. So the four of swords is also stubbornness. You guys may be feeling quite like you're quite stubborn, but it's also a good thing because you have staying power. I do feel as if you're attracting spirits, you're attracting narcissists. So really be careful of your energy. Be careful to just like tell spirits to F off if you need to. Like that isn't, there's nothing wrong with that. That is you being authentic. That is you being, you know, however you want to tell them, tell them, you know, what's what. Because if those energies are coming in and they're not there, then they're not there to support you. They're there to possibly like get, take from your energy. Just let them be, open a door for them and let them walk through it. Sometimes people might be attracted to your light because um, it's, you know, it's not of this earth. And, you know, energies love that. Spirits love that. Narcissists love that. So um, I do feel like for you guys, you help people transform. And that may be something you've had to deal with is that maybe people have been very temporary in your life. This is not going to be forever. Okay. Somebody is going to be able to support you through this process. And maybe if you are a very intense person, you have very intense qualities. People have been very put off by it because they can't support themselves because they can't support that intense energy. There is nothing wrong with you. You have just attracted people who just can't support that. And they're not meant to be in your life. You know, they're on a different path. They're on a different train. You guys are on extremely high, quick transformational life. Like your life is unlike any others. You really have gone through the depths of your soul. You guys have, may have gone through many, many soul transformations, uh, kind of any like deep shadow work, you know, things like that, depression. This has brought you to your, your place of being. You guys are not of this earth. I feel like star seeds, you guys are empaths, you guys are little fairies, like honestly, amazing, amazing energy, very, very intense. These two cards are I'm really being drawn to. Like you guys have intense staying power, but it doesn't mean that you have to put up with any bullshit, basically. I feel like I'm being very blunt in this reading. <laughs> Maybe you guys have that energy, but it's also cultivating the energy of, it's not saying you don't care. It's just saying like, I want to protect my energy, you know? I want to protect this lovely energy that I'm in right now. Beautiful. So you guys could be attracted to Aries. You could be an Aries. You're somebody who's very, very determined. And yeah, transformation, you could be a Scorpio. Uh, you could uh, be ruled by Mars. So as an Aries, Aries is also ruled by Mars. So. That could be your energy. We have Saturn. You guys are learning to have boundaries. Um, but also you're learning to, to um, cut cords with boundaries too. So you guys may be, as you're coming into this Aquarian age, you guys may be quite young as well in your 20s and earlier than that. And you guys are here to cultivate, cultivate this new Aquarian age. You're not meant to be part of the Capricorn age. That's not what you're here for. You're definitely here to help others transform. We have the lunar eclipse. Re releasing the past, breakthrough, pushing limitations and healing. That could be something that you're needing to do on this lifetime right now, on this earth plane. And I feel like you're here on this earth to help other people with their relationships. Um, you could be a relationship coach. You could be somebody who's just very much connected to relationships and the connections of others. I feel like you're very fascinated by the way two people can like come together. Um, I feel like you're a very healing person. You're very kind. You're very gentle. You're somebody who also likes aesthetically pleasing things. And you might get very kind of cringed out at things that aren't aesthetically pleasing. That may just be the way you react to things. You could have Libra, Mars, Venus, Sun, Rising, and same with Aries or Scorpio. And I do feel like you guys could also help people with their sexual energy. You could help people to transform their sexual energy into creativity. You could be somebody who could be like a sex counselor, something like that. I'm not entirely sure of the word of it. There's obviously a, there might be a nicer word than that, but 
I do feel like you help others to find their purpose. And I do feel with your energy, you may have a lot of relationship issues early on in life, but as you transform through these different karmas, you're gonna to start to, this karmic pattern, sorry, you're gonna find much more a sense of self because it's all about finding you because you may care so much about others that you forget about yourself. So that's a really strong message. But yeah, really intense. I do feel like you guys have worked for a lot of obsession or um, addictions through your life and you may still be working through them as well. But the more you release your deepest fears and things like that, oh my God, you're gonna feel so much more freer. And I do feel like you may be into the occult, like spirituality, you know, tarot, things like that. Um, and that may help you to un unravel anything that needs to be worked on. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you'd like a private reading, all my information's down below. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number four. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So why are you on this earth right now? Why have you been reincarnated into this earth? Let's have a look. We have the Apophyllite, beautiful high vibing crystal. I love Apophyllite for any sort of mediumship, anything to do with like connected to your spirit, guys. Girl, it's amazing. All right, so let's have a look at your cards. So the first card we have is Kappa. Excuse my pronunciation. We have Golden Healer Quartz, Open the Door, lovely. We have Teaching, you inspire young people to learn. Flowers, working with flowers opens your heart and brings blessings to others through your life purpose. Body work and Camel. So first of all, I'm really being connected to the body work. I feel like some of you guys want to be a tattoo artist or you want to, uh, you're very connected to tattoos in a very like spiritual way. You may be doing like intentional aff aff affirmations like while you do that tattoo for people and it could really, really help people. And I do feel like you guys are somebody who's really good at teaching. You're very, very patient and you're somebody who can help people to um, assert your knowledge onto other people's, onto other people's lives. So also Kappa, it says the earthy dosha, grounding, nurturing, and heavy. You are grounded into earth's energy and carry its subtle calmness, which makes others naturally gravitate towards you. You bring peace, understanding, and comfort to your community and the other shoulder anyone can lean on. You embody earth's wisdom and are anchored to her vast life force. You may have created a life or envisioning one that will bring you great contentment and stability. A true home surrounded by people you love. You do not need to search for more. The deepest peace you'll find is where you are. Just remember never to become too attached to anything as it is all temporarily. Tem temporary. <laughs> so this is also saying to try something out of the box. You may have gotten too comfortable where you are, your home, your career, your relationships, your life goals. See bigger dreams for yourself. Let go of habits that are no longer serving you, such as emotional eating or looking back on the past. Replace refined carbs, sugar and dairy with bitter vegetables, tart fruit and rich spices. It's time to shed your old skin and re-emerge as your highest self and fullest expression. So what I'm seeing, I saw someone actually like excreting um, kind of things out of their pores and it was basically me, it's shown to me as like you becoming a lighter being. Like obviously this makes sense because we're going more into the 5D. So obviously 5D isn't like a physical thing. So what's happening for you right now is you, the more you, I'm hearing reverse any kind of um, trauma you've been worked, like working through trauma. This will help you feel much lighter. And with a camel, you carry a lot of weight on your shoulders. You're somebody who carries a lot of heaviness for other people. Remember, this is you. You need to make sure you're, you're not carrying it so much for yourself as well. You know, you do so much for other people. It's really important for you to think about yourself too. So you guys maybe work with flowers, similar to I think group number two, you work with botanicals. You could do re flower remedies, Chinese medicine, something like that in a tribe in a past life you could have been the kind of like the um the healer somebody who works with you know medicine natural flower medicine things like that but it makes sense working being like an earth you could be an earth sign who's really connected to the earth like with flowers you could be a Taurus, virgo or capricorn and with open the door it's just saying allow yourself to have these innate abilities and let them fly free like if you want to be something to do with flowers go for it if you want to be a teacher go for it don't just because it feels possibly out of reach, you need to start it. You know, you basically need to start it. And that's so blunt, but you basically need to start it because if you never start, you're never gonna get there, you know? And sometimes people think of an end goal as the end goal, like that's it. Okay, when I find that thing, I'm gonna be happy. Or when I find that thing, it's gonna feel, it's gonna be great, you know? But when it's kind of like when you're on a course to learn to be a teacher or something like that, 
on that course, you are learning all about these new things and through those stages, through that learning is you're finding out about yourself, you're finding out about something new and then you're a teacher and then in that teaching job, it's not the end. Like when you're a teacher, you're learning about yourself, you're learning about the people you're teaching, you're learning about the things that you are teaching all those different things. So you're never going to be able to, you're never going to stop learning. So never find yourself in like a box, I feel, especially if you do have a, a lot of Taurus in your chart, or you're a Taurian person, or you have those innate qualities. I do feel like it's important not to idolize the end goal, because sometimes when we do have that stubborn energy as, as, a, as a fixed sign, you know, girl, I'm a Scorpio, I feel you, I feel you fully. Um, it's really important for you to concentrate on the now, even though it's uncomfortable, <laughs> and even though it's annoying. But sometimes it's good, so sometimes it's worth focusing on. So as I say with body work, it says your life purpose involves body work, such as massage therapy, energy healing, physical therapy, therapy or exercise training. So as somebody like the camel, I see camels as quite strong and like muscly because they obviously they do carry quite a lot on their back. You know, they are very strong. They can withstand a lot of heat. You guys help, help people transform either through body work, um, either like they have the like a tattoo and it means a lot to them. It could be that you're a physical therapist. You could be a trainer, something like that where you help people transform through their body. And I do see that you, you see a lot of different layers to people. You see all, all of them. You don't see just what's on the surface. So you really help people to bring out their life purpose and what they want to achieve on this planet. And I do feel like with the camel, it's having patience with yourself. Like you're going through a lot right now. Have, have some patience with your journey. And remember that you don't have to get there to fully be, you know, to fully feel like you're accomplishing something just because maybe you haven't found the right job or you haven't found your purpose right now. Finding your purpose is finding is is your purpose right now your purpose is constantly changing so never kind of think okay well i haven't got a purpose right now i'm worthless you know your purpose is to just be yourself and find it as you go along you know not everyone has found it at that moment and be very gentle and kind to yourself in the process herkimer diamond when to use it when you're reaching for clearer than ever through spirituality therapy or healing work brush off all those unwanted vibes with herkimer diamond power wash your energy that's really intense. So I feel like it's time for you to get rid of all of those negative beliefs about yourself because you do have, you do feel a lot. Is this in reverse? Yes, you do feel a lot and you do take on other people's energy sometimes. So remember to cleanse yourself, clear your energy, use crystals or sage or get out in nature, drink lots of water, things like that, because you can kind of, sometimes you get quite stuck in a certain place and it's just because that's how your energy works. So when you know this, um, it's really time for you to step back from any kind of restrictions you're putting on yourself. So underneath we have mercy. I always see this as restriction um, because sometimes we can get so encapsulated in uh, a belief system or a certain person or a celebrity or a way of life that we forget who we are right now. So obviously use it as um, guidance, but never use like possible like readings or anything like that as something to define you you know you are constantly changing we are constantly changing this is just here for guidance so yeah exactly cleansing and inspiration that's so true i feel like the more you cleanse your energy the more you're going to have a straight line to where you're going because if you suck up energy like a sponge it's going to be really confusing to know who you are sometimes and with this eight of swords i always say like for her she can cut herself free at any time but she can't see those swords because she's got a blindfold on so if she basically uses one of those swords to cut herself free, she will be free. And sometimes if we've gone through a lot of trauma, we don't realize that we are actually in a toxic relationship because that's all we know. You know, that's all we know. It's all we've seen from our parents, from our family members, from friends. We all we've known is that, you know, and if we are struggling to find a sense of self, it can be really hard to rely on ourselves. So I feel like taking a step back and realizing you are doing such a good job and to not bash yourself, you know, your process is your process. This is how you process things, not anyone else. So acknowledge that and use that to your abilities, tune into your intuition, what feels right for you at this moment. And also with the eight of swords, you guys think a lot. So make sure to use that, use that to your ability. You know, you're somebody who has a lot of ideas and you're very caring, you're very nurturing. And I do feel like you will find a soul partner or a best friend or somebody who's part of your soul tribe who will really help you on this journey as well. Accept help also. You are you don't have to do everything on your own, you know, and especially with this, I feel like you are really good at kind of, um, you. And I'm, I'm hearing you got yourself out of it before you can do that again. You know, I do feel like you are a guide for a lot of people. Uh, we have Gabriel and we have um, Joff. 
sorry, Raphael. I was trying to read it through the viewfinder and I was like, I can't see. Um, so yeah, you're definitely a light for other people and that is your superpower, you know, and never underestimate your power. You know, you're here to help others to um, transform also. So it's a really strong life purpose, guys. I'm seeing you guys building a table and I don't think this is my stable table metaphor that I normally get, but it could be that I'm smiling. I think it is. Um, I feel like you guys are definitely the builders. You guys like making physical things and you may sell them as your life purpose. You may want to be on Etsy or eBay or something like that where you sell what you love. Like you make, you sell and you make things and you sell them and it, it helps you to find what you love. So you guys may have sudden uh, downloads of like self-discovery. At the moment, you might be getting really strong downloads about who you are and your sense of self. And you guys may be really connected to the Aquarian age. You're somebody who has a lot of ideas and you're here to guide the, um, guide the collective. So for you guys, you're very good at looking in the heart of things. You're not scared of people's depth. And I think that's your superpower too. You also have Pisces. So we did have that page of cups. You guys could be a Pisces as well. You could also have a Pisces Scorpio relationship with someone also, but we also have this square. So I feel like it, when you learn to work with others, this is gonna really help your life purpose to come to fruition. And I do feel like one of your lessons is to allow yourself to work with others and be open to that. And for you guys, you may have, have worked with a lot of conflict with other people and it may have put you off kind of working with others. Your life purpose as well is to just kind of move through this energy and it may be that you have to have a little bit of solitude first but I do see you guys suddenly moving into like a really strong tight-knit group it could be your soul tribe or it could be co-workers you know anything like that everyone we meet is we're meant to meet you know it's in the stars you know it's part of our soul journey I feel like not to box, your, box yourself in and I do feel like you've had a lot of conflict and, and, and learning to do in your lifetime and I feel like you are not scared of that depth anymore and that's because you're meant to have gone through that so you can help others transform so you can really find what is my soul purpose what is my depth right now and i do feel like you guys are very very deep people i feel like you could be the poets the musicians of the world that sort of thing that could be your life purpose too is to help bring music into the world and to express your your emotions through your lyrics through your words I just feel like you guys are really intelligent as well. I also see you guys wearing glasses. I don't know if you guys have bought new glasses or you may wear glasses as like a fashion statement or obviously to help you see as well. So I feel like there's something there as well. Something about um, seeing things clearer, I'm hearing. You, you will see things clearer. And I'm hearing in the next like six days to six, I'm hearing just like six days, six weeks, six months. That could be something quite important for you guys too. So thank you so much for watching. If you would like a private reading, all that information is down below. Thank you very much for being here. I appreciate you guys. Namaste. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye.